we know what the politicians and pundits are saying about the transition for President-elect Biden. So what about typical Arizonans? What are they saying on both sides about where our country stands? Our Joe St. George is in Buckeye tonight taking a closer look. Sometimes the best way to get the pulse of the country. I think if we don't discuss it, we don't, we'll never heal. Is to have a socially distanced conversation with the neighbors. I, um, well, except, except the, um, the fact that Joe Biden's going to be president. We first met this group of retirees a few weeks before the election in Maricopa County, Arizona. Now that it's over, we're checking back in. And, well, the divisions are still there between those who voted for President-elect Biden and those who voted for President Trump. But when he concedes, that means the election no, is no. over. No, no, no. Doesn't mean squat. One thing that is obvious. You people believe in your source of information? The differences here trace back to where each person gets their news. And I read everything I can. Rosanna, who voted for Biden, trusts the major news networks. She watches them all. Marty and Chris, who voted for Trump, tells us for them, Fox News is not conservative enough anymore. I got away from Fox News about six, eight months ago. Because this group is operating on two different perceptions, it's tough to find unison. COVID is sort of sort of big on my mind. Especially with how the country should handle this pandemic. If I got COVID, I would want to take the drugs Most of the world scientists have been paid one way or another to do some sort of a study. Do you not believe in COVID? So, What? But you shut down the entire economy for the world. Nobody, nobody knows what to do, Marty. Nobody, there's never Nobody's happened there. before. This debate is what President-elect Biden will inherit come January. I feel there's turmoil. And so far, Biden supporters here feel the transition has been turbulent. Marty and Chris? Yeah, we're I don't, in it. We I don't think it's a big all year. I don't think there's a big turmoil going on. One big challenge for the President-elect is whether Americans who didn't vote for Biden can somehow be won over. Anything you could do? Stop all this hatefulness. The only problem, though, is everyone on this porch believes the division is here to stay. I don't think that the division is going to go one way or the other. I don't think no. it's ever, ever going to be solved. It's never going to be solved. One lesson for all of us, though, is no one here cursed or left early because they disagreed. Everyone listened to each other, and maybe that's what the country needs. I think it's good to get somebody else's opinion, but just don't make it personal. In Buckeye, Arizona, I'm Joe St. George.